because then you can actually listen to the recording. So let me just repeat what we just did. I had you alt tab to open up your JAWS so we can get it all, get it into your system tray. And, um, and this recording is going to be for Nate also. And Nate, we're just going to repeat all these commands. So when we have more time, we're going to take you through this whole dialog box. But because we're limited on time and we've got a, a lot of things to do to get this computer set up and going, I'm just going to give you the hotkey commands to move around quickly. We first want to have JAWS start automatically when you turn on your computer. So you're going to be able to press the power button. Your mom will show you where that's at. And it's going to come on and JAWS is going to start talking to you. But we've got to tell JAWS to do everything. We're going to tell your computer to run exactly the way you want it to run. Okay? You're going to learn to take total control of it. So what you need to do is Alt J. Left hand is going to go down to your Alt. Right pointer is going to hit J for Alt J for automatically start JAWS. Alt J. Start JAWS options dialog. Right. Start JAWS at the logon screen. Check. So you want to hit spacebar to start JAWS at the login screen. Absolutely, you want that. So spacebar. Check. So anytime you hear checkbox, and if you want it, you want it checked. So as you tab through this, you're going to hear one more. We're going to ignore it. We're going to tab twice, and you're going to hear start JAWS after logon for this user, and you're going to hit A. It's going to be a combo box. When you hear combo boxes, that is a box of a lot of options, okay? So when you're on your own and you're trying to figure out combo boxes, you're just gonna up and down arrow in them. But when you're with Nate or me, we're just gonna tell you what to do um, until we can get to the point where we can just start teaching you how to access all your work, okay? So go ahead and tap twice at this point. Start JAWS, start JAWS after logon for this user colon combo box using the all users set. So that's one option using the all user settings and you could use any of them, but I always like to hit A for always because I always want to know my JAWS is going to be starting up when I turn on my computer. Hit A. Always one of three. One of three items. It tells you how many options you have there and you're just going to tab to OK button and hit enter and close your JAWS options. OK button to activate press space bar. Yep. Basic space settings bar. dialog. Tutor messages. And all why. Alt-Y to say yes, and then I'm going to explain that. Alt-Y. Alt-Y, tutor messages, Beautiful. announce menu and control help rating. Okay, aren't you wondering what that was all about? Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, I never know how computers come, but typically the you it's called a user account control menu. And basically, um, the people who set up computers truly, truly believe, and, and they're actually right, people really don't know what they're doing on the computers. Yes, even sighted people really do not know what they're doing. <laughs> so that box is, is basically asking you, are you sure you want to make this major change on your computer? Because <laughs> you might be messing it up. That literally is what it's asking you or telling you, okay? So it, it makes you do a double think. And so when you're on the internet and you do a command and you get that user account control, you really want to make sure you're in a safe website and you're not downloading a Trojan virus or something like that. So it just kind of gives you a pause and you're going to think, hmm, do I really want to do that command? Because we're moving around on the keyboard really, really fast. And sometimes we do commands that we don't want to do. And that's an opportunity to say no. I don't want to make that change, okay? So it's just going to give you a pause. So just know anytime we make a major change, you're going to get that user account control because you are making a change on your computer, okay? And mom, nice job with downloading this JAWS. Excellent. That was fabulous. And Kyle, what you're going to do is you're going to learn how to download your JAWS. We're going to take you to the website. You're going to download real speak voices and all sorts of other things that make life a lot more enjoyable on your computer. Okay, so the next option that you really want to have is run JAWS from system tray. That's going to take it off of this. I'm going to take you around your computer as soon as we uh, do fix set up your JAWS so you're going to understand where your system tray is. Okay, so run JAWS from system tray. The hotkey is Alt-S, so right pointer down to that Alt ring finger on S to Alt-S to run JAWS from system tray. Alt-S, run JAWS from system tray, checkbox check, a clear check mark. Okay, now the most critical command on this whole dialog box 
is the keyboard layout and the default and the default means what it's always set up to be is desktop. Well, we always used to, oh, that's all we had was desktops. Laptops are, is a relatively new item on the technology scene. Now you, you young kids, you probably don't know anything else but laptops, but you need to be in laptop mode. So when you do Alt L, you're gonna hear you're in desktop mode, Alt L. Left hand goes down to the alt right, right ring finger on L. Use keyboard Perfect. layout colon combo box desktop one of three. Yep, one of three. You want L for laptop. So ring finger on your L again for laptop. So right hand, ring finger, L, L laptop, two of three. Beautiful. And you're gonna hit enter and close your basics. Enter JAWS O manual. Okay, while we're here, let's go ahead and just set our Braille because we might get a chance to set up your Braille Note Touch. Alt O again to go to your options. Alt I. That's okay. Left hand on oh, menu, nice. options, menu, basics, dot, 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 to move okay. through items, press up or. Now, is this voice pretty slow for you? Yes. Yeah. It's like, shall we fall asleep now? Okay, down arrow, one time to voices. Voices sub menu V. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hit enter and open that. Enter, voice adjustment, dot, dot, dot. V. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Hit enter, we'll wake up a little bit and speed up that voice. Enter, leave in menus, voice adjustment, dialogue, profile name, colon, combo box, eloquence. Okay. Now, once again, I'm gonna give you the hotkeys, but later on, we'll take you through every single one of these dialog boxes so you totally understand what they are. A dialog box is just a box full of a whole lot of options of how, how you can take control of your computer. But right now, we're just gonna jump down to the voice rate so we can increase that rate. You're going to do that with Alt-V, Right hand pointer down to Alt. Your pointer left hand is going to stretch to V. Alt V. Alt V. Voice adjust nice. colon combo box. All contexts. One of yep. So it's going to speak at this rate for all contexts. We're actually going to uh, download Real Speak Voices. You're going to change the rate. You're going to have edit mode rate. Uh, so you can change your profiles. Uh, are you taking a foreign language this year? No. Okay, when you take a foreign language, you can actually use a foreign language uh, also to help you actually learn the language. Right now, I want you to go ahead and tab to rate. Voice, ra voice punctuation, oh, colon, combo tab. box, most, three of four, voice, tab. rate, colon, 57, sure. left, right, slider, so, 15. Yeah, I want you to right arrow and find a speed that is good for you. 17%, 18%. Nineteen percent, twenty percent. Yeah, it's good. Okay, well, what's well, nice? Yeah, typically we have a fast mode and a slower mode. That's a pretty nice even mode. This is kind of new to you, also new technology. I can guarantee you, you will be speeding that up pretty quickly within a month. The kids <laughs> probably five percent speed every month. So just know what's nice. Nothing is set in cement. You can constantly adjust your computer to what you want it to be, okay? Now, you want to apply this. When you tap through here, you're gonna hear save as and apply. We're gonna use save as often, uh, but you're going to apply this now because you're taking the factory default called eloquence, and you're going to apply the speed to it, this speed rate to it. So Alt A to apply it. Alta, profile nice. name, colon, combo box, eloquence. Yeah, and typically you are not going to use apply. You're going to create different voice profiles. So that's just something to put in your brain cells and it will make more sense later on. You can go ahead and hit enter and close your voice adjustment profile box. Enter, JAWS O manual. Okay, nice speed already. So let's go ahead and Alt O one more time and we're going to go ahead and select your touch. So that part's already selected and set up. Alt O. Alt I. Alt O. Menu. Options. Menu. Basics. Dot. 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 To move through items. Press. 
Okay, before you even begin, so before I leave you today, I'm gonna to give you a sentence. It's called the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And I want you to type that out 10, 15 times a day, um, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, uh, for at least 15, 20 minutes over and over and over and over again. You do that for five straight days, your keyboarding is going to increase tremendously, okay? Don't worry, I know mom's probably taking notes in the background, and of course, I will be doing notes out also for you, but we really want you to be able to increase on your skills quickly, and that will do it. Right now, I want you to go ahead and down arrow twice to Braille. Voices, Braille dot 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 L. And you're gonna hit enter on Braille. Enter, leaving menus, Braille basic settings dialog, the active Braille. Okay. Now, uh, I will go very quickly into Device Manager after this because I do want to see what COM ports are available to you. Don't worry that this, this, what I'm telling you, doesn't sound familiar at all. It won't, but you're going to learn it like the back of your hand. You need to understand what your COM ports are. Your COM ports, you have ports all the way around your computer, and it's built into your motherboard, which directs and guides your computer. You're going to learn, learn and totally understand what these ports are, and you're going to be able to change them at a whim to what you need to do, okay? So don't worry that you're totally clueless at all this because everybody is. So let's go ahead. We're going to add a Braille display. I want you to go ahead and Alt-B to add a Braille display. Right hand down on the Alt key. Left hand stretches the pointer stretches to move through item. Try that again. Alt B. Left hand stretches to a B. You know Alt what? Even menus. Default Braille display colon nice. combo box. Nice. Okay, so this is and mom, you did say you got the drivers downloaded? No, I did not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so this is a humanware product. So I want you to hit H for humanware. H, handy tech left parent sign, right parent not checked, 15, 30. Again. H, hymns braille not checked, 17, again. 30. Oh, actually, H, you know what? Where braille, braille display not checked. Back. I'm actually going to have you up arrow to the brown up touch. Because typically we do the combination, but I think I'm going to change that a little bit. Go ahead and up arrow probably about five times and you can hear brown up touch. Braille pen, not, braille, braille note left, braille by not checked, braille note touch not checked, 19 of 30. And remember, checkbox, the only way you can check it is hit space bar. Space checked. Great. And you're going to go ahead and do Alt N for next. Alt N. Alt N. Nice. Set options for the braille note touch display. This braille display okay. connects through. Well, I guess I am just going to go ahead and teach you all this. So right now it says, well, how do you want to connect this up? You could. USB is absolutely the easiest way to connect any Braille display. But most kids like, you know, to have it not connected. So if you wanted to go really the easy route, it would be the USB cable. And you'd connect your cable from your Braille note into your computer. But if you want to go Bluetooth, we have to figure out what COM port you are using. And the only way you can figure that out is to go into your device manager. Your device manager is the brains of your computer with every single thing that your computer contains. So you need to be very careful in here because of course, if you hit the wrong key, your computer is not gonna be happy. So I want you to hit your Windows key. So you're going to bring your left hand all the way down to the bottom left hand corner and go in three keys and you're going to hit your Windows key and open it up. Nice. Get it. Open it. Type in device, D-E-V should be enough. So center your hands on home row, D ASDF. D device manager, nice. control panel, and press right to switch to the device manager, control enter. Okay. Device manager, device manager. You need a tab one time to get into it. Preview. Desktop dash PS90 99 open. And you can do what's called first letter navigation. It's very, very long. If you had a down arrow, you'd be down arrowing about 20 times. Or you can do what's called first letter navigation. If you know you need to go to your ports, you can hit the letter P and bypass A through P. 
So hit P. P level one, parts left parent, comma, del P to right parent, close. Okay, when it say it's closed, you hit right arrow and you open up your drop down menus in your ports, right arrow. Parts left parent, comma, del P to right parent, open, one item. And down arrow one time. Level two, ECP printer, port left parent, LPT one, right parent, one and one. And you have no ports. Now, what you were going to discover is when we install the drivers, you're actually going to see ports open. And we're going to be listening for COM port one or two or three or four or five or six. It totally depends on how many ports you actually are going to have on your computer. So we cannot actually discover that yet. So we're just going to take a guess. And then, and I'm going to guess either three or four, because that's typically what COM port uh, inputs on your computer. So we don't know that yet. So you can Alt F4. Alt F4 is always the default to close anything. Alt F4, let me help you do that. Right hand pointer is going to go down to your Alt. Close. Uh, Alt Mom F4, is, set device options dialog. Does set F4 options have a high remote. dot on it? Um, he has it on F5, should it be okay. F4? Okay. Okay, uh, and, that, and that's fine as long as you know F, F, F4 is right next to it. Okay, so we're just going to take a guess here. I want you to hit a down arrow, and we're going to see what ports it offer, actually offers up. <clears throat> down arrow. Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay, hit, just I want you to, well, insert tab. Let's listen to actually where we're at. Insert tab. You can caps lock tab now. So go over to your left-hand side, sit on your caps lock, and then hit tab. Let the output port, edit combo, USB, one of one. Is that cool? Value, use the arrow keys or yes. So insert tab tells you exactly where you're at. Let's say you forgot what the whole window was actually asking you. You can do insert B, and the whole window will actually speak to you and tell you what you were doing. You can caps lock B. Grov. Grov. Oops, said AZ. So you hit your Grov. That's fine. Just backspace over Grov. Just back, 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 backspace. You're just a little too high. You're above Grov. your... Yeah, just keep backspacing. Grov. Okay, Land. there you go. Now your caps lock is right in the middle and then tab is above it and your Grov is above that. So you need to head down to that big longer caps lock key. And if you want to do caps lock B, well, your right hand can help the B, even though your left hand pointer finger typically does it. Or if you're really skilled, you can hold your ring finger down on caps lock. And For the braille, no touch this. Look. There you go. You did it. Perfect. Do it again. Insert B. Listen. Set device options dialog. Set options for the braille, no touch display. This braille display connects. Okay, isn't that cool? Yeah. So the key, the, the keys you want to know on every window, if you open something and it doesn't talk to you, insert tab will tell you exactly where you are at. Okay. You do not need to ask a sighted person for help ever. And more than anything, that's what we're going to tell you, show you how to do. Okay. When you open the window, and I'm going to tell you, a lot of windows open, and guess what? They'll say, OK button. And then you're going to sit there and go, what? OK to what? What am I saying OK to? <laughs> right? And that probably sounds a little familiar. Insert B is going to force JAWS to read that window to you, and it will read to you. And then when you want to know what program you're using, so let's say you go into a program, and it's not telling you whether you're in PowerPoint or Excel or Word or anything, you insert T and it will tell you what window you're in. Maybe you're in Firefox or Chrome, okay? Those three commands right there, those are like a, oh my gosh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Woo, okay? <laughs> yeah. So now insert tab and listen to exactly where you're at now. Select the output port, edit combo to set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value. Oh, That's what we we're working on. Okay, we're going to take an educated guess. It's a combo box, but you know what? You can type in whatever you want. And I'm actually going to have you type in C-O-M, and I'm going to say three. So we're going to do com, point th com three, so C-O-M, and then number three. C. O. M. And a number three. 
three. Now I'm giving you the hotkey commands all in, and you're gonna just and you're gonna discover that back, next, and cancel is like in every dialog box that you're ever gonna go to when you set things up. I want you to tab this time, go the long way, and you're gonna see it tells you next button, alt plus n, tab. Left back button to activate press space bar alt plus B. See? Next greater button to activate press space bar alt plus N. So you're going to learn very quickly. You don't have to tab constantly through all your dialog boxes because if you're setting something up, next is going to be your option. It's either next and install or next and done. Space bar on next. Space, select the braille display that you want to use each time you start JAWS. If the braille display does not appear... Okay, well, you need to actually hear what it says. If you had a bro display connected, you'd feel bro note touch. Is, and you've also discovered something very quickly. <clears throat> you don't have to listen to Jaws Gab. You can hush him up and then insert B and listen to the last thing he would have told you. Insert B. Or excuse me, insert tab. <laughs> insert B would have done it too, but insert tab is more direct. Insert tab. Box, rail, no touch, two of two, <clears throat> to change okay. selection, use arrow keys, alt plus P. And tab to finish. Let's back button to act, finish button to activate, space press bar. space bar. Space, JAWS synthesizer and braille manager dialog. You must restart JAWS for the changes to take effect. OK button to activate, press space bar. Anytime you make a major change in JAWS, it's always going to make you restart it. So you're going to hit space bar on OK. Space, Braille basic settings dialog. The active Braille display is no display. Default Braille display colon combo box. Remote access Braille, one of two. To What's change. even cooler is when you restart your JAWS, that JAWS box is going to come off your screen. So when you alt tab, you're no longer going to bump into it. And then I'm going to take you around your screen. So I want you to insert F4, which you can do with your caps lock. Caps lock F4, and that's going to turn off your JAWS. Unloading JAWS, quit JAWS dialog. Are you sure you want to quit JAWS? Press enter to quit now or escape to cancel. OK space button bar. to activate, press space bar. Yep. Space, Microsoft Word document. Now, JAWS completely goes off. Before you begin him again, I want you to always go to your desktop. For whatever reason, if you have a program open and you start your JAWS, sometimes JAWS just decides he's not going to talk it. <laughs> which just doesn't thrill us very much. Um, but if you go to your desktop, it's a cleaner start, and then you can alt tab to your program and get them to start. So Windows M, left hand sits on your Windows key, right hand pointer goes down to M, you go to Windows M, and it's going to minimize all your programs, Windows M, beautiful. And you don't even, uh, whoops. Uh, let's try that again. You closed it and then they reopened. Let's try Windows M again and let go of your keys. Nice. Whoops. Why is that? Why does that keep reopening? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's closed. And then are your hands off your keyboard now? Yes. Okay. Do you know why that reopened? I was hitting the wrong key. Oh, you okay? Because I'm thinking, okay, they close and they open, and they close and they open. <laughs> it's like, okay, what are you doing there? Okay, now the way you're going to start it, there's many ways to do this, but you're going to learn the run dialog box, which is very, very powerful. You can go any place, do anything you want when you learn the run dialog box. Windows R, once again, this takes a little bit of perfect touch typing though. Uh, and you might not have that yet. So I'm gonna take the, that back. I'm gonna have you do Windows, well, you already did Windows M. And if you hit J, you're gonna land on your JAWS icon. So that's one way to get to it. We'll teach the run dialog box later. And you're gonna hit enter and JAWS will start. JAWS for Windows, meeting controls. How do you feel? Pretty powerful? <laughs> How does that feel, Kyle? You feel pretty good? Yes. Okay. Now, let's move around your desktop. 
your desktop, if you put your hand literally on the screen of your computer, uh, yeah, you might get a little fingerprints on it, but that's actually called the desktop, okay? It's just like any desk that you have sat down on and you might feel some papers and a book and maybe there's some scotch tape over there and a glass of water. Anyway, it's everything that's contained on top of the desk. And so what they did when they made computers is they decided, hey, let's call this a desktop. So I want you to Windows M so you can hear that you're on the desktop, Windows M. Windows comma Microsoft Word document, Microsoft Word document. Okay. So let's try it again, Windows M. Windows M, desktop, folder view, list view, Google. JAWS 2020, 406, to move the items, use the arrow. Okay, so it told you four of six. So right now on the top of your desk, you have six items and you happen to be on the JAWS item. That's because you needed to start JAWS. So when you did Windows M and you hit J, this is the only J on your desktop, which I highly suggest keeping for now until you really totally understand how you use your computer. Because if you had another J, how are you gonna know which J to land on, right? Well, when you learn the run dialog box, you'll see that that's not gonna be an issue anymore. But for right now, that's gonna be the only J on your computer. Now, if you up arrow, you're gonna hear the other things on your desktop, up arrow. Google Chrome, three of six. Okay, Google Chrome's there. Up FS Meter 3.0, two of six. You may and or may never, ever, ever use that. Up arrow. Recycle bin, one of six. Okay, so your computer came with the recycle bin, so that was the only thing on this computer when you opened it up. You added, or I should say mom added FS Reader and JAWS because she downloaded it, installed it, and those two things automatically loaded. Google Chrome, so someone added Google Chrome. Mom, did you add Google Chrome? I did. Yeah, somebody had to add it because <laughs> it didn't come that way. And what you probably did, let me guess, is you went through Edge and you added Google Chrome, correct? Yeah. 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 Because Kyle, the only thing, the only browser that comes on a computer is Edge. Now, did you update to the new Edge? Because usually the old Edge comes with it. Um, it, I said it was the new one. It has the swirly icon. So yeah. I, so yeah. your computer came with the new Edge? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> but I guarantee you, you're going to have more updates. Okay. So you do have a, a nice computer. You need, to, you need to give your mom a big hug after this lesson and say, thank you for such <laughs> a wonderful computer, mom. So you already have the new Edge because most of the, other, well, every other computer that we've ever had, we've always had to update. So this is a newer option uh, for newer computers. And how cool. Did you add Microsoft Teams also? It kind of, when, when I um, went through to get uh, his uh, Microsoft Office suite on here, it kind of did all that. Okay, and that's fine. Yeah, so um, are you using Microsoft Teams, Kyle, to connect? Or how are you connecting to your school virtually? Uh, Zoom. Zoom, okay, okay, great. So we need to teach you a lot more Zoom commands, don't we? Yes. <laughs> Good job, okay. Uh, if, uh, and I already have kids all Saturday. I'll see if Nate has an open time slot on Saturday. We typically work six days a week. There's a lot of kids that, yeah, let me just tell you, a lot of kids that need help. Anyway, so you're getting the idea. You have six icons here and you can go straight down arrow and you can hear everything on your desktop. So go ahead and just go straight down and listen to everything on your desktop right now. Down arrow. 3.0 to Google Chrome, three of six. JAWS 2020, 4 of 6, Microsoft Edge, 5 of 6, Microsoft Teams, sure. 6 of 6. So anytime you want to get to your desktop, you're just going to Windows M. You can also Windows D, um, so whatever you would like to do. So Windows D, think desktop, Windows M, minimize. Both of those get to you to your desktop. Remember, this is going to be in your recording, and I do want you to listen to this over and over because I know I'm going through this fast because we have a lot to hit but you listen to this over and over for a week, you will okay. totally have it, okay? okay? You will totally have all these commands down because I know you're picking this up just by your responses and your brain's going, oh my gosh, I can do that. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I know that. I totally get that and it's really cool, but you listen to this recording over and over, you will so totally have it.
And the thing is, each time you're with Nate and me, you're gonna exponentially learn even faster if you listen to the recordings all the time, okay? So anytime you wanna access any of, those docu uh, any of those icons, you can. Is that the fastest way? Not even close, not even close. Your Windows key is instantaneous uh, access to your world. However, your index menu is not on, so that's gonna be the last thing we do today is turn your index on. You're thinking, what's my index? Well, what your indexing options are, you can type a document, let's say you're doing it on George Washington, and when you save it, you don't even save it as George Washington. Maybe you save it as Mount Vernon, okay? Well, let's say you do this beautiful paper, you're all ready to hand it in, and you cannot remember the name of that paper. Most of the time, once upon a time, you would totally panic. You don't have to. Maybe you, under, maybe you remember, oh, that's right, it was about George Washington, but I know I didn't name my paper that. Doesn't matter. You can hit your start key, and all you have to do is type in George, and your computer will instantaneously populate everything you've ever done with the word George in it. Even if you wrote an email with it, it will populate it. If you have indexing on. Indexing, you can think of indexing as basically like um, take your house, okay? I'm pretty sure your mom has your house indexed. What that means is she has a couch in a particular spot and a chair in a particular spot. And if you go to the kitchen, you know where the glasses are and the plates and the silverware, okay? That's called indexing. You arrange it in a particular way. But if a tornado went through that house, my guess is you guys have a pretty hard time finding things. That's called not indexed okay right now your computer is not indexed you're adding a whole bunch of things your computer actually can't even really find anything very well you could do a word document you could go ahead and save it and if you hit your windows key to try and find it your computer would say well i don't know where to go so you would have to know where to go you would need to go okay i saved it in my documents i'm gonna have to go into my documents i'm gonna have to find it first and you'd have to know the exact location in order to find it you have your computer indexed that windows key will find everything for you okay do not let me forget to tell you that because i'm liable to teach you a whole bunch and then say okay see you guys later so you need to immediately say you need to set up indexing <laughs> okay and then you're going to need to do that several times because you're setting that computer up. So I would say in one more month, we need to re-index your computer. Every time you add a whole bunch more, you need to keep indexing it. So it keeps adding it every single spot that you've uh, worked on. So don't let me forget that. Okay, we're okay. moving around your computer now. So I want you've moved around here. If you hit tab, you're going to jump down to your start window. So tab. Start button to open yeah. press enter. Well, we don't have to go that long way. Uh, tab is the longest way to go around anything. So I'm going to take you the longest way, and that's tab. That's true of the internet. Most people will say, oh, hit the tab key and move around. That's a long way to get around things. Um, that's a great way at first to discover where things are, and then you want to learn the fast way to do it, okay? Start key, key, you already know, bottom left-hand corner, third key to the uh, right, and you've got your Windows key so much faster than going to your desktop and tabbing. Tab again. Type here the search button to activate okay. press space bar. We also know if we hit that search key, it immediately opens our search menu. So we don't need to do that either, but we're going in a nice, huge, long circle, okay? Just think a big circle. We're at the very bottom of your screen right now, so visually, I want you to understand it because you're gonna have sighted people go say, well, go down to that type here search menu. And you're gonna go, oh, that's bottom left-hand corner. Well, I know what that is. That's my start key, okay? Sighted people are gonna tell you that stuff all the time. And you're gonna know what it means because I'm visually telling you how it's set up. So mom, always tell him visually how something's set up mm -hmm. and then we'll teach him the command to go there. Because sighted people are gonna say, go to those three dots up in the left-hand corner and you're gonna go, what? And you know, you know it's gonna be F10. Don't worry, that will make sense later on. Tab, again. 
Talk to Cortana button to activate press space bar. Okay, uh, you may want that eventually, but there's a hotkey for that also. We're not going to deal with that right now. Tab again. Task view button to activate press space yeah, bar. We're going to get rid of that also because that's a very visual thing uh, in tasks viewer. And you can literally have every program open up on your whole screen, which is really confusing for JAWS. Tab again. Taskbar File Explorer okay. button to activate press space bar. Taskbar. So File Explorer, that is also Windows E. This is called Million Dollar Real Estate, your taskbar. Because anything that's pinned to your taskbar, you can immediately apply a Windows key and the number to it, and it will instantly open. Now you went the long way, you tabbed around. If you hit enter on that right now, File Explorer would open. Hit enter and open. Enter. File Good Explorer, problem. items view list box. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. Items view. Okay, now if you would have uh, continued to hear items view, it's in grid view. That means you have to left, right, up and down. Do you know that? No, it's a terrible way to set it up for a screen reader. So you need this set up in what's called list view details. So everything is always lined up top to bottom. So it's all you have to do is down arrow. We also put details on so you hear if it's a PDF or a DOC or an Excel because you must know what program it utilizes because sometimes you actually have to select the program to open it. To set this up correctly, you're going to go to your view menu. Anytime you ever need to go to a menu and you're not sure what letter it is, all you have to do is hit the Alt key. But we do know what view is, and it's Alt V to go to that menu option. So Alt V. Alt V menu nice. to move through item, press up or down arrow. Now, once again, we'll take you the long way. It's a gazillion tabs through here, but we're doing the hot keys right now. You need to go to L layout, and that is L to layout. L, upper ribbon, view, ribbon tab, layout toolbar, views, change your view, tiles, views, list yeah. box, tiles, tiles, grid, tiles, one to one. Nice visual little thing. We don't want that. We want words. You're going to up arrow once, and you're going to right arrow twice. Up arrow once. Small icons grid, one of one. Right arrow twice. List grid, one of one. Details grid, yeah. one of one. And you're going to hit enter on details, and it's going to be wonderful to navigate now. Enter. Enter. Leaving menus. Items view. Multi select list box. Frequent folders expanded. Not selected. Desktop. Eight slash. Sure. So, desktop, it, it says not selected. To immediately select it, you hit your space bar and desktop will immediately select. Space, desktop. Now, all you have to do is go straight down arrow and these are your most frequent folders in your libraries. These are the default folders of your computer. They were already set up for you, so don't get rid of them. <laughs> If you insert up arrow, caps lock up arrow, and it's going to read the whole line to you, and it's going to tell you it's a system folder. Insert up arrow, caps lock up arrow. Desktop, 8 slash 27 slash 20, 29, 21 a.m. system folder, one of six. Okay. What's so nice is when you up and down arrow, you're not going to hear all that information. Anytime you want a whole line of information to read to you, and this is true even in Word, you insert up arrow and it will immediately read the whole line to you, okay? Now, if you down arrow, you're going to hear all your major system folders down arrow. Downloads, two of six. Keep going. Documents, three of six. Pictures, four of six. Music, five of six. Videos, six of six. Keep going. Recent files expanded. Recent files left parent to right parent row header expanded. Okay. And hash using the touch as a braille display dash rev zero three left parent one right okay. parent one of so two. I can tell you that you have been busy from 827, which is today, since 253, playing around with you discovering the braille not touch as a braille display. <laughs> yeah. So 
Once upon a time, my kids didn't know all this. This option has always been true in the computer <laughs> minus the recent folders. And the kids would say, oh, I would say, well, why didn't you email me your work? Oh, I did, you know, blah, 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 such a time. Well, they didn't know about the timestamp. Of course, <laughs> I, I wouldn't tell them this trick until they were a little bit older. And then they'd go, oh, that's how you always knew. And it's like, you bet it is. Anyway, <clears throat> never lie to a teacher who knows tech because there's always a way to find it out. Okay, so every, this is called the dialogue box. This is your file explorer. You're gonna be in here a gazillion times in your life. When you do an F12 for a save as, when you do a control S for save, when you do a control O for an open, and all of these are gonna make sense, you're opening your file explorer and they're always gonna have a list view in it. You're also going to always have a look in and you can opt and you can get to your look in with either an Alt D and for whatever reason, sometimes Alt D doesn't work, but control L does. And that will immediately take you to where you wanna go. So Alt D. Alt D, leaving right. ribbons, address edit combo, quick access to set the value, use the arrow keys. Or so quick access will always take you to all the last things you opened. What's nice about it is as you're doing your work for school, and once again, it's like, because you're new, and you're like, well, now where did I save that? Well, once you index, you could hit your start key, but you can always solve always Windows E and open your file explorer and it's gonna be right there in your most recent files, which is so nice. Okay, but when you get really, really good, you could actually type DOC down there in documents. I'm just gonna put this in your brain cells right now because you're gonna to listen to it because I wanna show you the navigation of this. You can Alt D, you can type in PIC and down there are the pictures and open your pictures folder. You can Alt D and type in DES and down arrow to your desktop and open your desktop, okay? All of those, all of those system folders will instantaneously open for you when you do your Alt D and type in it. When you create folders and you're going to create folders with Control Shift N, just putting the command in the recordings because you're gonna get there. So you're gonna open your documents, you're gonna Control Shift N and make lots of folders for all your classes and you're gonna name them. You can do the folder. Let's say you have one for English. You can Alt D type in English and it will instantaneously open your English folder. You can make a history folder. You can Alt D and instantly make, go into your history folder, etc. Getting the idea? Yes. Very powerful. Okay, now I'm gonna take you the long way around. We're gonna tab, nice big circle, just like we're doing on your desktop. So tab. Search edit box edit type in text. Okay, Search so box let's edit say type in text. You opened your documents, you're not sure which folder you save. Let's say you have 10 folders in there and you need to find George Washington paper again. You could literally type in George right there and it would instantaneously populate everything with the word George in it in your list view. So as all you have to do is tab around to your list view and you immediately find all your work. Okay? You're gonna learn a million ways to navigate really fast. You will move faster than any sighted person. You learn those key, these keyboard commands, okay? Tab to tree view. Tree view level zero. Yep. Quick access open six items to move okay. through or expand items use the arrow keys. Now, what I want you to do is when you're listening to this recording and you might want to listen to it on your phone. Are you pretty good at your phone with voiceover? Yes. Okay, great. So I'm gonna send this into your email, listen to it on your phone, and then I want you to play, listen to it a little bit and pause and then do it, okay? So you're in your tree view now, just down arrow through your tree view and listen. Level one, desktop left parent okay. and right parent not this checked. This should not sound checked. Wonderful. just like your list view. This should sound familiar, down arrow. Downloads left parent and right parent not checked, not checked. Keep going. Documents left parent pin right parent not checked not checked. Keep going. Picture left parent pin right parent not checked not checked. Music. Videos. Okay. One drive. These are the only One exception. Point. One drive, this PC, and network. These are the exceptions. Now, when you tab, you're going to tab to your list view, and you're going to hear all of these again. Tab. Minus the bottom three. Items view multi select list box, recent files expanded, and dash using the touch as a braille display dash rev zero three left pair and one right pair. Okay, no, 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 no,
Shift tab. Recent files expanded and dash using the. And hush them up. Now hit D for desktop. D frequent folders right. expanded. Down arrow, and you're going to hear all those system folders. Down arrow, hear all the system folders. Two of six. Documents, three of six. Pictures, four of six. Music, five of six. Videos, right. six of six. All identical to your tree view. Okay? Don't worry, we'll teach you how to use this. Big circle, so you've just gone in a huge circle. Okay? All F4 will always get you out of everything. All F4. Close your box. All F5. Yeah, don't hit the All high dot. <laughs> folder view list new. Microsoft okay. Teams, six of six. To move now, to items, use the year. Okay, we need to get back down to your task manager or your task bar where we were, right? We're in your desktop. So instead of tabbing around four times, you're now going to do Windows T and instantaneously jump down to your taskbar. Windows T. Sit in your Windows key and hit the letter T. Ask our file explorer button to activate. Right? Now, this is million dollar real estate. We already have a hotkey for file explorer. You could also do, when, you could hit enter right now and that would open file explorer. You could also do Windows 1 because that's on the first slot. So Windows 1 and feel the power of your task bar. Windows 1. Windows number Windows 1. Windows 1. File Explorer. Items view multi-select okay. list box. Frequent folders expanded. Not, se Not select a desktop. Okay. Alt F4. Once again, we don't need that because window we have a hotkey. Windows E for that. So we're going to get rid of Alt that. Task okay. bar. Now, how do we get to your task bar again? What was that command? Windows. Alt T. Windows, T. Oh, Windows T. Everything is going to start with a Windows on your taskbar to, oh, to immediately get there. Windows T. I mean, Windows B. Sorry. <laughs> no, Windows T. Oh my gosh. My brain's getting tired. Windows T. Windows Y. Windows T, taskbar file explorer button to activate press space bar. Okay, mom, here's the multi-million dollar question. Is there, I'm hoping there's an application, two keys to the right of that space bar. Is there a square box with lines in it? Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Woo! <laughs> here's a million dollar key for you, young man. The applications key. This is like the right click for these sighted people around here, okay? Those silly sighted people who have to use that mouse. We use the applications key. You are going to hit the second key to the right of space bar and that's called the applications key or context menu. Go ahead and hit that key. It's a, it's a function, so you're gonna have the- it's Okay, a, thank yeah. you. So left hand, you need to hit your function key. It's the second key from the bottom left-hand corner. Bottom left-hand corner, go in two keys. Sit on the function key first with your left hand, then your right hand is going to hit that applications key. The list nice. box pinned on available desktop one to four to move. Oh, nice. Now, if you down arrow, you're going to hear everything that's pinned and frequent, but this is a huge circle. You can either go down arrow 10 times or up arrow once to unpin from taskbar. List box unpinned from taskbar okay. two of two to move once to again, an item press the arrow keys. This is in the recording. I want you to pause it on your phone and I want you to move through every single item in here so you understand it for each menu. Hit enter and that file explorer is going to disappear from your taskbar. Enter. Beautiful. Okay, once again, we want to see what else is pinned here. Now, some things are pinned, but every time you open a program, you're also going to hear it because I can tell you, you only have one item pinned here. Windows T to go back down to that taskbar. Windows T, taskbar mail button to activate press space bar. Okay, that's Windows mail. Uh, is, is he gonna get 365 on this, mom? Um, I, I downloaded it on here, uh, but he doesn't use his student email at all. Uh, That's but, okay. That, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. He can use Windows. Okay. Uh, we're going to leave that for right there, for right now. 
um, because you do need to learn how these, we, what we do is we prepare all of you kids for college and a job. Okay. okay? So you're gonna learn everything. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that alone. Go ahead and right arrow now. Google Chrome dash one run in window button menu. Okay. Now, when you hit your applications key, you are going to pin Chrome because then from now on, all you have to do is Windows 2 and Chrome will instantly open for you. So sit, left hand sits on your function, right hand sits on that applications key so we can pin it. Applications, pressed items, list box, recently closed and available. Oh, Email up arrow, I'm so Google totally Google. wrong, up arrow. List box, close window, Other three hand? of three. To move an item, press the arrow keys, unpin from taskbar, two of three. Mom, did you pin that Google Chrome? Uh I think I did. I didn't yeah. realize. <laughs> she did it with the mouse, Kyle. She did it with the mouse. Okay. That's how you find out whether something's pinned or not. It's yeah. open, so you don't really know, but that's how you find out. But it is pinned, so we can leave that alone. But now you know Chrome is in the second slot, so Windows 2 will always open it. Hit escape and get out. Let's see if she pinned Word, too, shall we? We're going to spy on her. Hit escape. Escape taskbar Google Chrome dash one running window button menu pressed press space right arrow and then, and then to go to your next item. And if right arrow doesn't work, then it lost focus of it. Windows T. Windows T mail button. Okay, that's Windows one right arrow. Google Chrome dash one running window button menu. Taskbar Word dash two running Windows Let's button menu. Let's find out if menu, she then... pinned that. Function key, applications key. Applications, items list box, Up recent arrow. and available. Syllabus quiz, one of ten. To move to an item, press the arrow keys. List box, close all windows, three of oh. three. To move to an item, press pin the taskbar, two of three. Ah, she did not. So you're going to hit enter. And from now on, Windows 3 will instantly open Word. Hit enter. Enter. Nice. The next thing you want pinned is JAWS because when you turn them off, yeah, you can do your run lock dialog box. Yeah, you can go to your desktop, but it really is about speed. Okay. It really is about speed. That's the person who's going to get that job. If, if you are identical in every way to another person who can do the same job, they're going to test you both out. It's the person who is the fastest and most efficient that will get the job, okay? And I can tell you, a person with keyboard commands who knows as much as a sighted person, you will have more of an advantage and that's where you wanna be, okay? So, you know what? Windows and a number is instantly gonna open JAWS. So don't spend a whole lot of time going someplace else. Do we always need to know more than one way to do things? Absolutely, because one way is gonna fail and you have to know at least two or three other ways to do it and you're gonna learn that also. So to pin it, you're gonna actually do, go to your desktop. How do we get to your desktop? Windows what? D. D or M, either one will work. You can pick your options. Windows D, let's go for that one. Windows D, folder nice. view, list view, Microsoft Teams, six of six. Okay. To move to items, use the arrow keys to edit. First letter navigation, you could up arrow, but you can also hit J for JAWS, do not hit enter. J for JAWS. J, JAWS 2020, mm -hmm. four of six. Applications key, that means sit on that function and hit that applications key. Applications, context mm -hmm. menu, to navigate, press up or down arrow, O, open, O. Now, you're gonna learn the hotkeys to this. When he says open O, he's telling you the hotkey for open. And when you go down to pin to taskbar, JAWS is gonna tell you a letter. And that letter is going to be the hotkey for everything to pin to taskbar. So when you down arrow to here, pin to taskbar, it's going to tell you a letter. And I want you to tell me what the hotkey is going to be to pin to taskbar. Okay? Down arrow and listen. Open file location I. See? What was that hotkey to open file location? I. Yeah. We lose programs all the time. When your index is working, you're gonna type in the name, you'll see the name. I guarantee you, you're gonna to wanna to hit your applications key and open your file locations so you can see where you accidentally saved it. So you can move it out of where you accidentally saved it and put it 
where it belongs. <laughs> that is a lifesaver. Keep going, down arrow. Run as administrator A. Keep going. Convenient OCR with JAWS O. You'll learn about that. All those images we can't read, that will read it, down arrow. Troubleshoot compatibility Y. Keep going. Pin to start E. You're hearing those letters now solidly, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, because you never knew to listen for them before. Keep going. Scan with Microsoft Defender dot 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 S. Pin to taskbar K. What is pin to taskbar? K. Yeah. Now you can actually get to be able to use it. Hit escape first because now you're going to go the fast way. Hit escape. Leaving menus, folder view, list view, JAWS 2020, okay. Function, applications key. Applications, context menu, to navigate. What letter are you going to hit? Oh, oh, open, oh. What letter are you going to hit? K. K. Hit it. K. Leaving menus, folder view, list view, JAWS 2020, 406. To move to items, use the arrow keys. Okay. To edit the selected item, press F2. Now you're probably thinking nothing happened. Windows T and check your work. Make sure you count as you're moving to the right. Windows T. Search box edit, type Windows T, taskbar mail button to activate, press space bar. Okay, that's one, right arrow. Google Chrome dash one running window button menu. That's two. Taskbar word dash two running that's window three. button menu, press space to activate the menu, then navigate zoom dash one running window button menu. That's four. JAWS 2020 button. It worked, didn't it? Yes. Pretty cool. Do you want to pin Zoom so is all you have to do is Windows 4 to open Zoom? Mm, yes. Okay, because it's your class. Now remember, nothing's written in cement. You can unpin anything you want and move around things anything, anytime you want, okay? Left arrow to Zoom, but since that's your main platform, you may want it pinned. Left arrow to Zoom. One running window button menu. Applications key and up arrow to pin it. Applications, nice. press, items, list box, tasks unavailable, quit Zoom, one of one, to up move to list it. box, close window, three of three, pin the task box, yep, two and of three. enter. Enter. Okay. You've got five icons on your task bar. Now, we're going to move to that system tray that I talked about, okay? Uh, you could, Windows T, and I'm going to have you do it the long way first, Windows T, so we're going to bypass all the other tabs of the start and the search, Windows T to jump down there. Windows T, taskbar mail button to activate, press space bar. Now, tab, we're going to pretend we're still tabbing around your whole window, tab. Notification Chevron button to activate, press space okay. bar. You are now in your system tray. When you hear that Chevron button, now this is probably only going to make sense to uh, me and your mom, the Chevron station where you fill up, mom, and get a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> So that's what you need to think about, Kyle. This is where you're going to get a whole bunch of stuff. Hit your space bar and open your Chevron button. Space. Mm -hmm. Now up arrow. Toolbar JAWS for Windows button. There's your activate. JAWS that you pinned in there. Now, on your own, because it's going to be in the recording, I want you to up arrow and see everything else that's in your Chevron button. Okay? Hit escape. Little bar zoom dash actually, next side the button. Yeah. You're going to, I might actually hit escape several times and get out because I'm going to give you a hot key to get down there now. Escape and get out. Escape, escape. Escape okay. notification Chevron button to okay. add escape. Now, to get, whoops. Context menu to navigate, press up or down arrow. V, v, you just menu. accidentally hit your context menu. So my guess is you may not have to use function. Will you hit escape? We're going to try that again. Hit escape. Escape, you leaving menu. Your, uh, Order, new, key key not select the jog by menu. itself. Now, okay, it's probably the, is it the control key, mom, if it's not used for the function? Oh, I, I don't think he heard what you were saying to do. Oh. Is that does the control key uh, combine with the applications key? Yes. Okay. Uh, Kyle, I just want you to hit that key one time, please. No function. Just hit it. Okay. That is the control key also. Okay. 
Anyway, to get down to your system tray, you're going to Windows B. Think bottom, Windows B. Windows B, notification Chevron button to activate, press space bar. Right arrow, because connecting to your network is going to be another big one. Right arrow. System tray Zoom meeting participant ID colon 400237 is using your microphone button to yep. activate, press space right bar. Right arrow. 1HR16 min left pair and 50% right pair and remaining button. I'm going to tell you the hot key for checking your battery level in just a minute. Right arrow. Home dash 4AB2 internet access button. Okay. You're going to disconnect. It's going to happen. Everything that can go wrong will go wrong with technology. That's the reason why you're going to learn how to fix everything. Hit enter on that because you need to know how to reconnect to your internet. Hit enter. Enter, unavailable, list box, home dash 4AB2, connected, secured, secured. Se Tab. Properties link, one of one. Tab again. Disconnect button, one of one. That Connect. will say connect. Okay? And then, now don't hit enter because you're going to disconnect us if you do. <laughs> but when you disconnect, you're just going to Windows B. You're going to right arrow to hear your network. You hit enter, which opens up all the options of every network. You're gonna hear home for AB2, and you're gonna hit enter to open it, and you're gonna to tab to disconnect. Now, if you down arrow, you're gonna hear a whole boatload of wireless, because these are probably your neighbors. Down arrow. Netgear 44-5G secure. Down arrow. Secure. Signal three out of four bars, two of 10. Okay. Actually, on your own, because yeah, we've got so much to hit. So my guess is you guys own a direct MV printer? Yes. <laughs> yep. So your printer is even on here. So if you need to print something off, I can show, we can show you how to do that also. But anyway, when you down arrow, you're going to hear a whole lot of other networks. Okay? That's going to be on your own because, of course, you're going to be studying this recording. Hit escape twice and get out. That's how you connect, and you're going to need that. Now, you can also Windows B and you can go to your volume, but my guess is you have media keys and there are volume up and volume down. But when your mom sends me pictures of your keyboard, I'll be able to teach you that also, okay? Uh, I want to, oh, I had such a good plan. Which one was I gonna do next? Um, oh, I know. Insert F12. Insert F12 one time for me, please. Left hand sits on your caps lock, right hand goes up to F12. 4.19 p.m. Yep. Now, let's say you want to also know the date. Sit on your caps lock and hit F12 twice quickly. For Thursday, August 27th, 2020. Does that make you happy? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that like Computers are so cool, Kyle. Oh my gosh. Okay. I want you to sit on your alt and I want you to tab and uh, put word into focus and open it up. Alt tab. Right hand sits on your alt. Eating controls to move to an item. Press the arrow keys. Yeah. And again. Document one dash word. Yep. Let go. Document one dash word. Edit. You know how many times I've taught that alt tab? You're like the second kid to totally get that right off the bat. Every kid does alt tab and then let go. And it's like, you have four windows open. <laughs> Sit on the alt. So right away, that tells me, hey, you got a lot on the ball. Now, I'm going to tell you, JAWS always wants a window that is in 100% mode, OK? Uh, so mom, don't even tell him visually what things look like. Windows up arrow will always maximize your windows and you want to totally get into that windows up arrow, windows up arrow. So sit on your windows and up arrow to always make sure your window is in 100% maximized view. Windows up arrow. Perfect. I can already tell you, your mom already set that up for you. So, <laughs> but that's only for this time. When you restart your computer, your, your windows are going to open up. They're going to be one inch by two inches. Your mom's going to say, well, what you're going to say is, my JAWS is not working. My JAWS is not working. It's because you have a tiny little window. JAWS wants to speak the whole window. Now, I'm going to show you another thing. 
is uh, you guys did a find command and moved around in the window. And what it does is it leaves the navigation pane open. I want you to go ahead and hit F6 one time, please. F6, navigation, mm -hmm. search document, edit, okay. type in text. Now, you could have also gotten there with a control F, but when you're done using your navigation pane, you wanna close it. And the way you close it is with control space, and you're gonna go the long way on your own. You're gonna go down arrow to close, but we do control space. It opens your options and you're gonna hit C to close, control space. Control space, menu, move to move through items, press up or down arrow, M. And C to close. Middle See, finger down. Menus, document one, edit. Okay, the next thing is you need to understand how your page is set up. You're going to insert F, and this is where we stopped last time because I knew your caps lock was not set up as your insert key. Insert F, and you're going to hear your page. 11 point, black on white, calibri, normal style, line spacing, colon, one lines, paragraph formatting, colon, aligned left, outline level, colon, body text. See, it only took us an hour and 15 minutes to get that back to this point. <laughs> but look what you learned in an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, Calibri 11 multi-spacing is the default of how they set up Word. Yeah, I could tell you all the reasons why, but I'm not going to. This is how you set it up. You are going to, now, I'm gonna be teaching you, as will Nate, the fastest commands. We've been learning ever since the first computers came out. And so the, the earlier commands are far faster than the new ones. So we're going to be teaching you the new command, the older commands that are 10 times faster. Control D will immediately take you into your font box. So you can pick any font or style or color or number that you ever want in any writing style. But we need to set a default. And the default means every single time you open Word, you need it to say times through Roman 12 single space. Okay? every time, because you're gonna be writing in either, what did I say, MLA or APA format, which you're gonna find out. So in your English class this year, your teacher's gonna say, you need to write a paper, and then we'll show you how to do a proper heading and a header and how you set up your paper. Yeah, your teacher's gonna tell you also, but she's gonna tell you everything how to do with a mouse. <laughs> Doesn't help as much. Ready? Control D, and you always have to change two things in your font box. Right hand on your control, middle finger on D. Nice. Colon edit, plus body, type and text. Yeah. Alt, plus F, font, plus colon, body. Combo, plus body. Now, first letter navigation immediately populates what you want. So if you type in T-I-M, that will be enough to populate times through Roman, and then as all you have to do is down arrow to it. T-I-M. T-I-M. Down arrow, and you're going to hear times through Roman. Times through Roman. Perfect. Now, as you tab twice, you're going to hear font style regular. Yes, that's what it needs to be. And then you're going to hear size and you're going to hear 11. And I just want you to type in 12 or you can down arrow once to 12. Tab twice. Font size colon edit combo 11 to mm -hmm. set the value. Use the arrow keys or type and the value. down arrow to 12. 12. Now on your own, okay, homework is I want you to go to tab around this whole box because there's so many options. But to set the default, and this is gonna be true in your paragraph spacing that I'm gonna take you to next. Set as default, let me tell you the commands before you do it. It's Alt D for default, and then JAWS is gonna be, be jabbering on about, well, how do you wanna set this normal template? What do you wanna do about this? Do you wanna set it for this one or all of them? And you're going to do all A for all. Once again, we have a lot more to hit. And of course, we want to get through all the basics. But on your own, you're going to be tabbing through all this and doing it very slowly. Alt D to set as default. And then Alt A for all templates when you hear JAWS jabbering on. Alt D first. Right hand pointer on Alt, middle finger, left hand D. Alt D, font, OK button to activate, press space bar. Oh, he didn't even speak to you. Okay, well, that bugs me now. I want you to insert B because if you're by yourself, you need to know what it's going to ask you. <laughs> Caps lock B. <laughs> font, font, advanced, font, colon, font, style, colon, size, colon, times, new Roman, regular, 12 times, new Roman, regular. Oh, hush him up. He gads. He's reading your back window. I'm not sure why. 
Alt A. Just say Alt A for all documents based on the normal template. Alt A. All documents based on the normal template. Radio and button. Enter. Yes. Change the selection. Press up or down. Okay. Document one dash word. Ready? Edit. Next command. You're going to do Alt O and then P. Are you going to be required to memorize these commands? Yes. So you need to listen to this recording a million times. Ready? Alt O, lift up and then hit the letter P. Left hand on the Alt. Ribbon, yes. ribbon, layout, tab, the switch, tab, Alt, escape. 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 Okay. Menus, left escape. Left hand pointer on the Alt, do not let go of it. Right hand ring finger uh, up to O, you're going to do Alt O, then let go of it, and then you're going to hit P. Alt. Alt O, upper ribbon, ribbon, layout, tab, to switch pages, press control yep. plus tab, and, and followed by P. A P. Pinky P. Right hand P. Alt P. Uh, P. Even menu. Even ribbon. Alt plus G. Alignment. Colon. Okay. Combo box. Left. To change now, the selection. On your own, you need a tab through this whole box. I'm going to give you the hotkeys to change it right now, and you will be changing this a lot. And when you mess up your normal template, and we all do, you're going to re you learn to rebuild it, and you always have to come back here. You're going to do Alt F right now. You're going to hear eight point, and every number in here always needs to be zero. Alt F. And hit Alt F after colon edit combo eight PT to set the value zero. use the arrow keys or type the value. Zero. Nice. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. You're gonna tab one time, you're gonna hear line spacing multi, and I want you to hit S for single. Tab one time. Line spacing colon combo box multiple to change the selection use the S single nice. one of six. Tab one time to get out of that little box. A colon, edit combo okay. to set the value, use the arrow keys or type Same the value. Same command to set as default. Alt D and then Alt A. Alt D first. Alt D, paragraph, OK button to activate, press space bar. Alt A. All documents based and on the enter. normal template. Radio button checked to change the selection. Press nice. document one dash word, edit. Ready? Check your work. Insert F and listen. 12 point, black on white, times new Roman, normal style, line space and colon single, paragraph format and colon aligned left, outline level, colon body text. Right? You are ready. This is the sentence I want you typing. Oh, I would say hundreds and hundreds of time every day, but you probably have other things to do. It's going to be the quick brown fox from Server the Lazy Dog. Now, home row. <clears throat> Anytime you hear home row, I want your pinky, left hand, pinky on A, ring finger on S, middle finger on D, pointer on F. Is your left hand on those keys? Are they there? Yes. Okay. Get your pinky down. A. Nice. Ring finger. S. Okay, I do want to make sure your palms are up. Do not have them resting on the bottom of your keyboard or on the desk. You will get terrible carpal tunnel. Youth has a way of bouncing back really fast for the first few years, but let me tell you, you will regret it. You'll have to get surgery. Your arms and your wrists will have such incredible pain. It's not worth it. Keep those palms up. If you need to, change to a lower desk, okay? But you want to keep those palms up. Are they raised now? <laughs> Middle, I know. <laughs> Do I, kids, let me tell you. Yes, I say this a lot. Middle finger on D. Let me hear D. D. Okay, pointer hits F. Let me hear F. F. Pointer also goes to the right and hits G. Pointer to the right hits G. G. Beautiful. It comes back and it rests on F. Okay? I want you to do A up to Q with your pinky. A up to Q. A. Up to Q. W, W. Okay, pinky, just your w, pinky. W. Yeah. Don't erase, doesn't matter. This is practice. A. Q. Good, do it a couple times so you get A, Q, A, Q. A, Q. Good. Once again. A. You've got the recording.
Okay, and you're gonna pre and you're probably gonna have to practice this before you get to the quick brown fox from sort of lazy dog. A down to Z, please. A down to Z. A. Z. Good. A. Z. E. Okay. Okay. Go up and always rest on home row. S goes up to W. S goes up to W. W. Good. S. You got w. it. W. S goes down to X. S goes down S, to X. X. Good. S. Okay. X. E, and always rest back on home row. D goes up to E. 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 Okay. D. E. D goes down to C. D goes D. down to C. X. Go over a little bit more. D down to C. X. E. C. Good. Okay. Once again, you're e. going to practice this a million e. times. Ready? Rest on home row. F up to R. F. R. Mm -hmm. F. R. Come down, relax on F. F also goes up to T. F and slightly up to the right to T. F, T. F, T. F, T. Beautiful. Comes down, rests on F, and of course, over to the right for G. F, G. F, G. F, G. F is very busy. Rest on F, F down to V, F down to F, V. V, F, V. Go up and rest on F, F down to V, a little bit further stretch to the right, F, B. F, B. Good. F, B. Come back and rest on F, okay? Palms up. Ready, right hand, home row is pointer is on J, ring fing middle finger is on K, Ring finger is on L, pinky is on semicolon. Please hit J for me. J. Palms up, hit K for me. K. Ring finger. L. Pinky. Semicolon, okay. auto correct, colon minus, Yeah, hit enter, because he's going to start repeating that ghastly long sentence. Right hand, enter. pinky to the right stretch is what I hope you actually did. Okay, now your pinky needs to do semicolon and then go to the right and hit apostrophe. So hit your pinky again. Semicolon. And go to the right a little bit more for your apostrophe. Apostrophe. Beautiful, now go back and rest it on your semicolon. Your left pinky is going to down and sit on that shift key. And then I want you to hit semicolon again. Slash. Nope. Not down, you're not moving your right pinky. Your right pinky is on home row. Your left pinky is sitting on your shift. Your right pinky is on home row. And I want you to hit your pinky now on semicolon. And then your other pinky. Yeah, both of your pinky, your left pinky is on shift. Your right pinky is hitting home row semicolon. Quote. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Okay, I want you, I want you to hit your, let's re, okay, that's semicolon, good. Now hold down your shift and hit semicolon. <clears throat> Quote. Nope, you're stretching it to the right. I don't want you to stretch it to the right. What you're not understanding semicolon. is, now listen to me. When you sit on that shift, that same exact key changes to something else. That's what I'm trying to show you. So you don't wanna move your pinky. You wanna keep it right there. So now left pinky, left pinky sits on the shift. Do not let go. Okay, that's your pointer F and you hit your pointer on your left hand. <laughs> okay, Kyle, you can do this. Now listen to me. I want your left pinky to sit on your shift key. Mom, can you help him with that? Yep. 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 Just sit on it. Your only your pinky. Your left pinky sit on your shift. Your right hand. We're talking your right hand. And actually, hit your pointer finger and hear your capital J. J. Uh, no, 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 no. That left shift needs to stay down. Do not let go of that shift. Mom, just sit on his pinky on his okay, left hand so it. you cannot let go of it. Yeah. See how that capitalizes it? Now hit K and you're gonna hear a high K. K. 
When he when Jaws talks that upper voice, he's telling you it's capitalized. Now hit L. L. Now hit your pinky. Colon. Colon. <laughs> now keep your shift down and move your pinky slightly to your right, and you'll get the double quote. Quote. Yes. Okay, now you may let go. The point is, when you want to capitalize something on the right-hand side, your left pinky sits on the shift. Does that make sense now? Yes. Yeah. And when you hear that higher voice, Jaws is telling you, I just capitalized it. Okay? Now, I want you to hit a regular J. J. Now, left pinky goes down on your shift, and you're going to hear a capitalized J. Capitalize your J. Yep. J. Good. Excellent. Okay. Once again, you got the recording. You need to practice this over and over. So if the left shift capitalizes letters on the right-hand side, what do you think the right shift does? Capitalizes letters on the left. Let's see if we're right about that. So right hand pinky sit on that shift key. Line your left hand up on the home row. That's your pinky. You found uh -huh. out where your you found out where your period is. Yeah, seven here. Okay. Now I, now here's the, gonna be the trick. I do not want your JKL fingers to move. They need to stay on home row. Filter keys, yes button to activate press space bar. No. And I'll explain that. Tab to no. Oh, wait, no wait, wait. To activate press if space you want bar, to turn on for keys, no, space bar. Space. Okay, if you, hold, <laughs> if you hold a key too long, it thinks you want to turn on filter keys. So there's kids that actually need filter keys on, which are sticky keys, because they can't move their fingers very well. So if that opens up, just say no. Uh, okay, so you need to leave your pointer on J and your middle finger on K. You never want to lose focus of home row, okay? And your palms are up and your right pinky, if mom, you can help him stretch that right pinky to his shift key. Okay. It's long, my guess is. And you're going to press down on that shift key and hold it. And your left hand, it should never leave FDSA, okay? When you are on home row, your fingers always need to be on ASDF and JKL semicolon. Always, always, always. So now, with your right shift pinky down, I want you to hit F. Filter keys. Oops. Yes button. To activate press Tab space bar. Alt no button. To activate press space bar. Alt space. Okay. Document one dash word. Edit. You can do it. Sit on your right hand shift and hit F. F. Nice. Hit D. D. Okay, S, S, A, A. Okay, let go of your shift key. Now, you're never gonna do that other than practicing, okay? You're gonna write like dad. So you're gonna hold down your shift, do D, then you do an A and a D, okay? Now, let's go ahead and finish up your right hand. I want both hands up even though your left hand's not gonna do anything. I want your left hand on ASDF, palm up. Okay, your right hand is on JKL, semicolon, palm up. Ready? Your J is going to stretch up to the left and hit Y. J, Y. Y, L. Try it again. Hit J first. J. And up to Y. y. Good. Go a. back to J and y. rest. Now go J, U. J, U. Good. J, okay, I want you to do J, N now. Those pointer fingers j are very busy. N. J N. Now I want you to do J H. Go to the left. J H. 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 J okay. H. Now uh, I want you to do J M. J M. M. J. Good. M. Okay. Now we get to move to the middle finger. I want you to go ahead and do K up to I. K I. K I. Okay. Now I want you to do K down to comma. K down to comma. K. M. Go to a little bit K. to the right. Comma. Good. K comma. Okay. K comma. Now we get to move to your ring finger. L up to O. L up to O. L. O. Okay. L. O. Okay. Now I want you to do L down to period. L down to period. L. Period. L. P. 
period. Good. Now I want you to do pinky semicolon up to P. Period. Okay, home row, get your hands on home row. JKL semicolon. Now hit your pinky first to semicolon. Now up to P. P. Good. Semicolon. P. Okay. And then you're going to do semicolon down to slash. Apostrophe. Semicolon. Down to slash. slash. Good. Now let me tell you why slash is so important. You're going to find out right now. Left pinky sits down on your shift. Left pinky down to slip, sh uh, shift. And now hit your right pinky down to that slash a key. No. Nope. Right pinky, we're using just your pinkies. Left. Question. Yeah. The question mark. Okay. Because you're going to be writing lots of questions. Okay. So uh, we're not ready for sentences yet. Uh, you may be, I'm going to try to, so mom, send me open times next week because I do scheduling on the weekend. I want to see when we can, I'm going to ask Nate if he has any time on Saturday. He may or may not because we usually, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see, uh, but send me open times for next week. Uh, is your Saturday pretty open? Yes. Okay. Okay. So if he does, uh, <laughs> he'll let you know, but yeah. Because we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll probably plan for next week. Um, so I'm going to send you this recording. Okay. Kyle, and I want you to open it on your phone. And I want you to play it, pause it, and do it. And then mom, if you can kind of help them also, you can kind of listen to it also. Okay. My guess is Kyle will probably catch on faster than you because kids usually do. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's always nice to have another set of ears to uh, remember. The keyboarding is so crucial. Keyboarding is so, so, so crucial. And uh, I truly, truly believe you can have the keyboarding down in five days uh, if you just practice one to two hours every day. Take a break in between as soon as you start making mistakes. Truly the key is always go back to home row. Your fingers need to be on home row all the time. Don't leave them. And, uh, and then you're just gonna practice over and over. I'm gonna show you Jaws keystrokes also. I want you to do caps lock number one. It's JAWS learning mode. So do caps lock number one. Keyboard help on. Okay, keyboard help on means whenever you hit something, you will know where a key is at and what it will do. So if you hit A, it will say A, but it's not going to type or anything. It's not going to move anything. So go ahead and just hit A. A. Perfect. Now, let's say you need to discover what your very top left row is. So I want your left hand to go all right up the row, and I want you to hit escape first. Escape performs okay. the standard Windows escape command. See that? Now hit the next key. One next to escape. Which is probably F1. F1. See, and it just tells you, F1. Now, sit on your function key and hit F1. I want to see if it will tell you if the function's on it. JAWS key plus F1 says specific information related to the current item or control. Isn't that cool? Very powerful. So, that's also part of your lesson. You're going to control one, and you're going to go into keyboard help mode, and it's going to tell you what every key does. Okay? When you actually want to use your keyboard again, you just do caps lock one and turn off keyboard help. Caps lock one. Key plus F1 says specific information related okay. to the current item or control. Okay, it needs to be caps lock number one to turn it off. Otherwise you're gonna be ah! keyboard help off. Keyboard help off. Okay. Now when you hit something, it's really gonna do it. <clears throat> okay, are your brains full? Yeah. <laughs> Good start of the lesson. Okay, so um, yeah, I want you to go ahead and uh, remember, what's the command to always close a window, Kyle? Alt F4. Yeah, and it's gonna ask you if you wanna save, and if you can't remember all N for no, you can always tab to no. So in the meantime of you doing uh, work, just open Word, Type out, practice your keyboard commands, and close it. So Alt F4, 
and we're going to do all n for no. We're not going to save it. All f four. All f five. Uh, whoopsie Daisy. Okay. All f four. File name. File name. Edit. Uh, all n close. All n. Alt n. Alt n to no. Alt n to no. Alt n to no. Alt n. Microsoft Word document yeah. and dash using the touch as a braille display dash rev zero three left pair and one right. Mom, I want you to move that high dot to F4. F4, okay. Yeah, yeah, because he's going to use F4 a gazillion times. Okay. Uh, and yeah, and since he's still hitting the F5, it's just, yeah, it's, everybody has it on F4. It's just a better place to put it. Okay. All okay, right. all F4, let's go ahead and close in using touch, blah, 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 blah. And mom, did you actually just open this or did you save it? Four. Folder view Let's list view, it. not selected JAWS 2020, 406. Uh, I can't Test remember. Time. Folder I think view I just list view, not selected JAWS 2020, okay. 406. Hush them up. So, but it's probably in your downloads folder. So let me show you a trick. It's all part of the recording. Windows E, open up that file explorer. Let's go find out where mom put that. Windows E. Because mom's like, I don't need that. You do. <laughs> <laughs> Windows 3, taskbar, open and dash, list box word, new list box, okay. blank document, Alt one of six. Alt F4, close that, the we'll try that again. Not Windows Alt 3. Alt F4, Windows Alt view, e. list view, not select. Okay, listen to me. Windows E is, no, 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 no. Okay, woo, take a breath. Hush them up. Ready? When you do a combination keyboard command, like Windows 1, 2, 2 or Windows 2 or Windows E, that e. means sit, no, 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 listen. You need to sit on your Windows. And then you hit E and then let both keys go at the same time. Windows. Windows E. e. File nice. Explorer. Items new multi. Okay. Now hit D until you hear downloads. D. Downloads. Yeah. Two of six. Hit enter and open downloads. Enter file explorer items view multi select list box today expanded not selected and dash using the touch as a braille display dash box. rev zero three left pair and one. So mom, everything's always in your downloads folder. Okay. Okay. I know you saw it also in your quick access. So any of them will open up because I know you're going to use the mouse, aren't you? <laughs> I'm trying not to. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even have a mouse connected to his his computer. Oh, excellent. Excellent. So that's really good. If you both can learn the commands, that is really, really good. And so it said Ian using touch as Braille display, not selected. So you hit space bar to select it. Space and dash using the touch as a Braille display dash rev zero three left pair. And you can hush him up and then you would hit enter and open it. I'm thinking you're probably going to want our help to set that up. Okay. Uh, yeah, because yeah. it's not that direct. If you did it USB, it would be pretty easy. So you guys can think about, and I'm gonna tell you, Bluetooth is kind of touchy. Do you want easy right now? Or do you want kind of touchy and have to have a little bit more work involved? I want easy because okay. I want it to work. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna tell you, uh, do you have the cable to the touch? They didn't give us the USB cable to it, but. Uh, yeah, you gotta have that cable in order to connect it. And it sounds like they're not being very communicative with you guys right now. <laughs> no, not, a, not about that. Not about that. They, um, cause basically it's kind of like any questions I have about the touch, they're like, oh, call humanware. I'm like, but. Yeah, but they should have the cable there. They may have lost it though. So they didn't hand you the whole kit and caboodle kit. No, or... they just, they sent him home with the braille note and the the case they have over it but it didn't it didn't in the um the charger oh they did send a charger okay the charger. the charger yeah yeah doesn't it if can it unplug from the charger head oh. it be a usb okay yeah i didn't know if it had if it had to be like a usb to usb no 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 no, no, no. okay the charger head that you usb should be able to plug unplugged right from the charger head and you plug it into the computer Oh, okay. Okay. So it goes into like the, the charging. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm thinking we're probably going to want to go ahead and set it up that way, but everything's in your downloads folder on that. So okay. go ahead and I'll F4 and close that. And we're going to set up your indexing. I'll F4. Alt F4. Okay. Desktop folder. Okay. Hit your start key and type in index. IND should be enough to pull it up. Search box edit, type in text. 
Uh, I, Internet Explorer app, press N, Internet Explorer app, D, indexing options, nice. and search panel, press right the Swiss Enter. preview. Enter. Indexing options dialog, close button to activate, press space bar. Now, if you were to window insert B, you'd hear that only 607 items are indexed. So that's just laughable. So we're going to do Alt M. So left hand pointer on Alt, right hand pointer Alt M. on Index M. location nice. dialog, change selected location. Okay, down arrow one time to C drive, and you're going to see it's not even indexed. Level zero, Windows uh, left parent C, colon yeah. right parent closed, not checked. Okay, space bar and check that. Space, oh, Windows okay. left parent C, colon right parent closed. Now, <clears throat> before we hit enter on this, because this is really going to slow down the process of your computer, I want you to hit your start key and type in updates, please, because you're probably going to have a lot of updates to do. Hit your Windows key, Just let go. Edit, type in text. Start typing in up. And update new, the new see web results. P check for updates. Yep. System settings. Enter. Press right to switch preview. Enter settings. Search box. Find the setting edit. Uh, item up item. to check for updates. Update and security list. Windows update. Check for updates button and to space activate. Bar. Space bar. Space checking for updates. Dot dot dot. Looking for info on the latest updates. Related links. Learn more link. Oh, okay. Updates available. Now, Last check colon today, 4.52 p.m. Hashimoto. Now, let me tell you how far behind you are. You need to be at Windows 10 version, uh, the 1909 update. Oh. You are pretty far behind. Oh, good grief. Actually, let me check. Hold on, hold on. Let me check my computer. Uh, it's because, like I said, they make the computers and then they set them on the shelf. Yeah. Wow. Let me check my history. Cause, uh, oh, no, 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 no. You do need to be on your 1909 update, so that's probably coming very soon. But no, you've got your, your, your 204, 64 bit. Oh, no, no, you're close. Oh, wait. You yeah, know, you're close. You're really, really close. Okay. <clears throat> so that's great. But what I'm saying is so, wow, you did get a recent computer. When did you buy this thing? Um, about three weeks ago. Yeah, I'm impressed that it's this far updated. When did you turn it on? First turn it on? Yesterday. <laughs> okay, well, you left it on enough to do the updates. Usually it takes the kids days to update. This is the most updated computer. Wow. Oh, cool. Really nice. I'm happy about that then. Yeah, I'm thrilled. Uh, you need, okay, caps lock shift B quickly to check your battery level. Caps lock shift B, Kyle. You need to plug this. I'm like, I'm sorry. Gotta check it first. Caps lock shift B. He's going to tell, tell you the battery level. B. I'm going to start using the right finger. Yeah. Good. So pointer on caps lock, thumb on shift on the left hand side, right hand pointer to B. It's going to kind of be a helper for your left hand because typically it's battery right. level colon low battery 22 yeah. percent okay. remaining colon 18 minutes remaining Home yeah and i can tell you it's not 18 it's probably going to die in about five so go ahead and mom show them how to plug it in uh kyle alt tab to your indexing we're going to hit enter and get that indexing also and it's going to make you restart your computer after the cumulative just ignore it until your indexing index is done. Index options dialog. Index no. locations now dialog. Now hit enter Save and start indexing. Locations preview. Windows left parent C colon right enter. Modify yep. button to activate now. press space bar. Mm -hmm. Alt plus M. So uh, it's probably going to take about 45 minutes to index your computer. But when the cumulative updates, it's going to say restart your computer. Ignore that until your indexing is done. Okay? Okay. And it will say indexed completed when it's done. Okay? Hey. You see, do you see how fast your indexing is growing? Oh, wow. Yeah. If you insert B, Kyle, you can hear it also. It's growing very rapidly. So you can keep checking up on it. Okay. Plugged in. Great. You guys rock. Kyle, you're on the path to independence. Okay. Yes. I was, you have a question? Do you have a question? No. Okay, uh, I will send this recording to you as soon as it's encoded for okay, you. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Robinson. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye.